them in a day in May. You tell it outside, you will say. Everybody's going to Oh, hi. Oh, sorry about that. Hey. We're just, you know, heading to the beach here in sunny Southern California. Ooh, mm -hmm. Yes. But we would never take in those rays without proper protection. No, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> that is why we've gone full Jeff Spicoli on you today. That's right. And as you have, what is this wonderful white stuff on our noses, cheeks, and uh, cat whiskers? Zinc. That is our medal of the day. Live from the sirens. Woohoo! So zinc. It has a symbol, Z-N. So your Canadian is Z-N. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> um, and it's element number 30. Element number 30. And it is the fourth most commonly used element in the world. Whoa. I did not yes. know that. Because huh. it's an anti-corrosive element. And it's used to galvanize iron or steel. Mm -hmm. And it's also used as an alloy in brass because brass is stronger than copper. Mm -hmm. and yes, and then it corrodes less. Oh, hey, did you know that pennies made after 1983 mm -hmm. are only coated with a thin layer of copper and that they're like 97.5% zinc? I was not aware of this. No. Yeah, they are not copper heads. They're zinc heads, technically speaking. Right. Aren't copper heads snakes. Uh, yes, that too. Yeah. <laughs> Please, so would you take my zennies? Oh, oh um, never mind. She's foreign. I'm don't foreign. <laughs> yes. She doesn't know the difference. And it's all right. If you want American health care, you better save up those zennies. Oh, oh, for sure. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Zinc is actually an essential mineral for uh, good health. And the National Institutes of Health says it's especially important for prenatal and postnatal development. Mm -hmm. It also boosts the immune system, can prevent lower respiratory infections, and can help out with acne. Oh, wow. Yeah, when I'm sick, I can yeah. I spray that zinc spray on my tongue. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah uh, it helps. Yeah, it's very yeah. useful. That's good. And do you know that back in the day, alchemists actually used to burn zinc in the yeah. air, and they would call it philosopher's wool. Oh, oh. white snow. That sounds so nice. You know, but if somebody offers you white snow, you can tell them that you'll have to leave the alchemy to the alchemists. Yes. Just say, say no, no to, to snow. snow. A public service announcement from, from, from the sirens. sirens. <laughs> <laughs> but what does all this have to do with our beach day? Well, it is all about zinc oxide, the active ingredient in sunscreen. And as you may have guessed, it is made from zinc that has been oxidized. Yes. And although zinc oxide occurs naturally as zinc site, it's super duper rare. Mm -hmm. So the stuff that's in our sunscreens is made in a laboratory by taking one atom of zinc and one atom of oxygen and putting it together with an ionic bond. And then James Bond. Mm. You'll need a barrier if you're going to spend time with James Bond. But it's around with the late. Totally worth it. And back to the powder. Oh, yes. All yes. oh, the <laughs> Oh, the debaucherous he nature of Los Angeles. He did martinis. <laughs> Sorry. So, what is powder? <laughs> the zinc oxide sits on top of your stratum cornea. Mm. Get your mind out of the gutter. It's skin, people. It's skin. the outermost skin. layer of skin. The Golly. biggest organ. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to work. <laughs> Where it scatters and absorbs and reflects all the UV radiation and protects the living organism that is your skin. Mm -hmm. And zinc oxide is unique because it protects, uh, it not protects, well, because it blocks uh, UVA, UVB, and UVC rays. That said, you need a lot of it if it's going to work properly. Yes, so the more zinc oxide, the whiter the sunscreen. Please do yourselves a favor and do some research this summer and find good sunscreen that keeps you protected and keeps your skin safe. And reapply every two hours. Definitely. Or have Ray do it for you. Oh, I love it when you do it. <laughs> I know. It's almost hard to reach spots. <laughs> I'm going to get these ladies to the beach. For sure. We need it. Big time. All right. And that's it. That's and that's it. Us. Make sure to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. We are the Sirens. Happy Element Day in May. We'll see you soon. Ciao. Bye. <laughs> in the sun. Element a day.